Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come with a very amazing problem. Many viewers, students were requesting for the actual solution of this uh, collapse of a cloud. Because last time when we uh, discussed this problem, I gave this in the paper with the four options where uh, easily we could uh, eliminate uh, using uh, dimensional analysis. But today we are going to discuss the actual method, actual solution of this problem. I'll just... Uh, <coughs> This is the problem statement and you can see the actual form of question was in this manner. All right. And here we could see that all problems are, uh, all options are having different uh, dimensions. So this question was given with the purpose that uh, students will think of uh, dimensional method in order to solve this question. And that was very quick method and uh, easily we were getting this as the answer. All right. So now we are going to discuss uh, this question. So here uh, the assumption uh, we are following is the collapse of cloud has a spherical symmetry. That means all the particles are moving along the radial line in order to maintain the uniform density of the sphere. That means density is uh, changing, but uh, for a given R in the entire sphere, the density is constant so that we can use the formula or uh, field formula for uh, sphere of radius R. So that is one assumption. So here we can say when uh, radius is uh, R0 and density is uh, in that case, density we are taking as uh, rho naught. All right. So I can say here, I can say here M0 is rho naught into 4 by 3 pi R0 cube and uh, at any R, we can say the uniform sphere, then this mass will be rho R into 4 by 3 pi R cube. So as this uh, sphere is collapsing and we are assuming in similar form, similar manner, it is going in all possible direction. It is moving towards the center in all possible uh, directions. So now we can uh, see for the last layer, let's say at any given instant, this has become the radius. So this last layer, it will have a speed of dr by dt towards the center minus dr by dt we can say. And as these particles are moving, they will be getting kinetic energy. So uh, we can say here, the force on the last layer, on these small, small elements of DM mass we can take and it will be same for all. So once a DM mass, if I'm taking here, then I can say the force acting on this DM mass is GM by R square and M remains same. So it doesn't uh, get affected by the density into dm dm is mass of one of the particle lying in this layer so uh, time of collapse will be the time in which this particle will move from here to here from the outermost uh, uh, layer to the center of this all right so this dm and dm we can cancel and i can write here uh, this v uh, this will become acceleration minus v dv by dr and this is gm naught by r square then initially speed was zero and this was r naught and now speed will become for all the particles as vr and this will be r so we can get uh, here vr as a function of r so it comes quite complicated and vr i am writing as minus dr by dt then i'm going to simplify this and uh, we are getting this integral of this form However, it looks scary, but uh, luckily this integral is very easy to simplify and solve. I can use the standard substitution as R is equal to R naught cos theta here. So dr becomes R naught minus two sine theta d theta cos theta, uh, cos theta d theta. When I substitute the value, I'm getting a very simple uh, integral here minus two R naught cos square theta. This is the integral I'm going to get here. And I, I know how to solve it. I'm, I'm using here cos 2 theta formula, which is uh, 2 cos square theta minus 1. So here uh, you can see the limit has changed because when R naught, R is R naught, theta is 0. And when R is 0, when R is 0, finally at the center, theta is pi by 2. So, <clears throat> so here my limits will become 0 to pi by 2. And uh, you can see cos function, cos 2 theta, this will come like this. So it will become 0 here, minus pi by 2, 2 plus pi by 2 
uh, or you can say zero to pi kind of function in the cos will come you can check and finally we are going to get this as minus pi r naught by 2 when i substitute and simplify r naught get cancelled and time of collapse i am getting as under root of uh, 3 pi by 32 rho naught g this is going to be the final answer and the best part is it doesn't depend on the size of the sphere it doesn't depend on the size of the cloud that is what we got from dimensional analysis also so guys here this is the last day of the offer and uh, uh, three month uh, subscription you'll be get, getting one month extension for 12 months you'll be getting three months extension and 12 months cbsc and for 24 months you'll be getting four months extension and 24 months uh, cbsc of class 11th subscription free you can use my code nitin sir in order to connect with me on uh, unacademy and uh, yes this is a new feature on unacademy uh, website where uh, in the syllabus section you can uh, see the curated uh, playlist of uh, all concepts and topics and uh, uh, the salient features of this you can say classes are structured by topics and you can uh, single single concepts you can see in that and it's a curated uh, playlist of entire syllabus so that's it guys i was i hope uh, you have enjoyed this discussion here because uh, this is a quite a tricky problem in my opinion and uh, if you have learned something new please leave a like share this video with others and uh, i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem thank you thanks for watching it